Hey guys, it's Alyssa from Online Fabric Store. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a box cushion with piping. This style is popular for seat cushions and can be used with other styles of cushions as well. As always, if you're not subscribed, hit that button below so we can get started. Decide the size you want your cushion to be and mark the foam to your dimensions. The cushion I will be making is 23 by 21 by 3 inches. Use an electric or serrated knife to cut the foam out. With spray adhesive, attach jackround cushion wrap to your foam. Spray it onto the foam and then lay the padding on top. You want to make sure that when you're covering your foam that the Dacron does not get bunched up in any places. If it's overlapping on the corners or sides, cut off sections so the padding will lay flat. Measure and cut two pieces of fabric for the top and bottom of your cushion. They should each be the same dimensions as the top of your foam plus one inch to each measurement for seam allowance. So I am cutting two pieces that are 23 by 22 inches. You really want to pay attention to your corners when cutting fabric. It's really important that each corner is a 90 degree angle. To achieve this, you can use a piece of printer paper or preferably a ruler like the one I have here to line up your pieces perfectly. Then measure and cut the boxing. You will need a piece of fabric that is long enough to wrap around your entire cushion, but because my fabric's not wide enough, I'll have to cut several pieces to create boxing. To make your cushion with a Velcro opening, you're gonna need to cut five pieces. For me, it was two that are 24 by four inches and three that are 22 by four inches. I came to these measurements by taking the length and height of each side of the foam and adding one inch to each measurement to account for seam allowance. If you're working with a patterned fabric, you'll want to pay attention to how the pattern is aligned for all of these pieces. Mine doesn't matter much because it's a floral pattern, but if you're working with a striped or a chevron pattern, it might be a little bit more noticeable if you don't match them up. The last piece of fabric you'll want to cut for this cushion is the piping. The perimeter of your cushion will be the length of your piece of fabric and cording plus about five inches for joining the fabric together. Your fabric should be the width of your cording plus the seam allowance times two. My piping is an eighth of an inch and I'll be using a half an inch seam allowance. So my fabric will be one and a quarter inch thick by 95 inches long. I'm going to have to sew together several pieces to achieve this. And remember, you have to make enough piping for the top and bottom of the cushion, so I'll actually need double that length. Now it's time to sew your piping. If you've never made piping before, it's really easy. We have a step-by-step -step tutorial that I'll link so you can feel confident when you go to make some for your cushion. Then sew the piping to the body pieces of your cushion, but don't get too close to the piping yet or you'll be able to see that seam.
To make up the back panel, you're gonna need two pieces of boxing that will be the same height as the rest, so you'll want to start by figuring out where to fold the fabric. For me, my piece needs to be four inches tall. So by dividing that number in two, I got two inches for each piece. I also need to add a half an inch to both pieces for seam allowance. So I'm going to mark a line at 2.5 inches on both pieces and that will be where I fold my fabric in. Then fold at that line and pin the fabric so the raw edge is hidden. Place the Velcro on your pieces. You can pin them in place to remind you where they'll go, but the loop side should be on the outer edge of the bottom piece of your boxing panel and the hook side should be on the inside of the upper edge. Sew the Velcro to each piece, being sure to sew on the outer edge of both sides. Now to sew your boxing. Lay out the first two pieces with the right sides together and sew up the short side with a half inch seam allowance. Continue doing this until you have a loop of fabric. Pay attention to what pieces you're sewing if your cushion is not a perfect square. You want the sides that are the same length to be parallel to each other. Now you'll need to pin the boxing to the body of the cushion. To do this, take the boxing and the body piece and match up the sides that are the same length. Start pinning the fabrics together with the right sides facing and the piping sandwich between the two pieces. Make sure that your corners are matched up perfectly so the seam is right on the edge. Sew around the entire perimeter with a zipper foot as close to the piping as you can get it. I ended up hand sewing in a few places where the machine couldn't get close enough to the piping because of how much fabric was there. So I just went in with a hand sewing needle and sewed as close to the piping as I could from the back side and it ended up looking really great and it didn't take me a lot of time. Now move to the other side of the cushion following the same process. Backstitch at the beginning and end. Finally, flip the cushion right side out through the Velcro opening and stuff the foam inside. Make sure that the padding is laying flat and the corners are properly pushed out. And now your cushion is complete. If you'd rather have a zipper opening, you can do so really easily by replacing the back Velcro panel with our upholstery zipper tutorial. Thanks for watching this OFS project. Like and subscribe to our channel for more crafting videos, tips, and tricks. See you next time. The materials you will need for this project are Decor fabric, I'm using Suaville Mill Creek Mumsford Carnival fabric Denim fabric Upholstery foam Dacron padding Welting cord A ruler Thread Scissors A fabric marker Foam spray adhesive and I decided to make a Velcro closure last minute, so you'll want to add Velcro to your materials if you want to be able to take the cover on and off. A serrated or electric knife, and a sewing machine with a zipper foot.